Happy Hump Day Wednesday, my Young and the Restless fans. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful one. We still got ongoing Jordan drama in Genoa City. I'm going to give you a few highlights, and then we'll unpack this episode. First, we see Nikki showing up drunk over at the Abbots. We have Nick and Phyllis consoling Summer. Ashley is fearful of seeing a doctor, and Jordan makes her demand to go to France. So without any further ado, let's unpack this Genoa City drama for April 17th. Nikki's early morning arrival over at the Abbott Estate kind of set the tone for the day as her disheveled appearance. Yeah, it showed that she had been doing some drinking. Now, Jack, trying to be the considerate host, observed her condition with concern, recognizing the telltale signs that what? Yeah, she's been drinking. Now, despite Nikki's attempt to mask her distress, Jack gently prodded her to just go ahead and admit it. And of course, she, yeah, tried to play it off. Jack said, why? Why don't we go and find somewhere to talk and diane woke up and said what are you doing here nikki and of course they look guilty and we all know that she wasn't happy to see nikki admits to everything else that's going on they're missing their grandson nikki shows up over there drunk Meanwhile, Ashley is still reeling from the aftermath of her own situation, finding herself grappling with foggy recollections of previous night's events. Now, supported by her family, she confronted the unsettling void in her memory, determined to seek help and clarity. As she tried to figure out what was said last night, because Diane is the one that brought up the question, Tracy was like, look, we don't have to worry about that. I know you said some things, but you were not being yourself. Kyle comes downstairs, and of course, he has had no sleep. Diane is concerned about him, and they're both upset not hearing about what's going on with Harrison at this point. With all of this going on, Jack and Nikki are sitting outside having a conversation, and then she finally admits that she drove past a bar and she had a couple drinks now i thought buzz drinking was also an issue as well so i'm wondering how she got to the abbott estate driving Nikki and Jack come back inside and both Ashley and Nikki are both going through something, but they both try to uh, figure out what's going on with the other. Now, Jack being in the middle of this, he's trying to keep a secret for Ashley about her situation and at the same time trying to keep the information from Ashley about Nikki. Yeah, it's a lot going on in that house right now. After Ashley go get some breakfast, Nikki was like, what's going on with her? And Jack was like, well, uh, and of course, there's none of your business Nikki just like it's none of her business what's going on with you now we're across town at Crimson Lights and Phyllis and Nick are shocked about finding out what happened with their grandson Harrison as they are grappling with the abduction of being taken according to Summer by Claire and Jordan Summer's anguish is raw and yeah she is like why is everybody protecting her Nick is trying to say well why would Claire take Harrison and Summer is not trying to hear. She is adamant about the fact that Claire is the perpetrator. And after Summer runs out, we see Nick and Phyllis are trying to figure out a way to bring Harrison home. However, Nick is vowing to be done with Jordan. Now we're back at the Abbott Estate and Kyle's revelations of Jordan's latest demands sent shockwaves through everybody. She wants to do the deal that Victor had set from their last interaction. And of course, Jack and Kyle is like, what deal? I guess they need to go talk to Victor Newman because absolutely there was a deal on the table. Now we see Ashley is headed off to her appointment with her therapist. She's worried about the diagnosis that she's going to receive. However, Tracy says, look, I'll be there to support you whatever we found out, but I will be right by your side. We then see Summer in Harrison's room holding his stuffed animals. And of course, she is absolutely worried about his whereabouts. Then we see Nikki apparently arrives home safely running into Lauren waiting for her the interesting thing about this is that she is driving still under some sort of an influence and especially with Jordan supposedly lurking around I guess she's not afraid of that however we see Lauren says look you've been doing so well Nikki then admitted that she has been drinking lately and Lauren offered to go to a meeting in my opinion I think she needs to be going to rehab 
But obviously, this is something that they are not planning to do, but they go to a meeting. Amidst all this other chaos and uncertainty, we see Victoria and Cole having a conversation. They're trying to draw from each other's strength, trying to figure out this situation with their daughter. It just doesn't make sense to them. However, one moment they say, could Claire have now decided to work with Jordan? But then they say, no, it doesn't make sense. She was the happiest that she could be being with her family and being outside. So why would she risk that? So they got a lot of doubts and fears but they clung to the belief that absolutely this is something that is Jordan is strictly behind and that Claire is innocent. And finally, we see Kyle and Jack makes it over to the Newman Ranch. They say, hey, we heard from Jordan. She said that there was a deal you put on the table. And of course, he brought up everything from the $10 million and a trip to France. And now they're willing to try to give her what they want. The problem is that they need to give up Harrison before she can take off to France with all his money. But I don't see it going that way. And the question is, where is Claire? Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think the diagnosis is, which we already know, it seems, when it comes to Ashley? I think this is a DID situation. Then Nikki showing up over at the Abbott's drunk. She was driving. And even if she wasn't completely hung or, you know, all the way over or whatever the situation is, she was still buzzed and she drove herself home too. Then the situation with Jordan wanting that free trip to France and, uh, you know, the $10 million. Yeah, I'm wondering how this is all going to play out. I don't think she's going to get away with this. And then where is Claire is the other question. Also, make sure you stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap for today. We got the aftermath of the truth coming out. Poppy tries to console Luna, who's heartbroken. And then we see Liam and Hope agree to allow Beth more time with Deacon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.